What's up guys? Craig Mack here, Liberty Bell Beekeeper. So today we're talking beeswax. Quick video just to explain a little bit about beeswax. Um, the bees create it in a gland. They use it to build their entire structure, all their comb for raising brood and for honey and other resources, all gets made with beeswax. What we have here are two different types of beeswax. Now, what I mean by that is beeswax, as you can see, comes in a variety of colors. Uh, from very yellow to a little, little darker, a little lighter, um, depending on you know how old the wax is, how it was used. There's a lot of variables that dictate the color of the wax. Um, so it's never truly consistent um, in this form. Now, that's brood comb wax. That's wax that came from the frames that they create brood in. Brood is their, is their babies, is the young. That wax is typically yellow because it, require, it gets all the foot traffic and it gets a lot of maintenance, it becomes dirtier. Uh, so it becomes a more yellowish color. It's also, you know, where the pollens and all that stuff is stored, so you get a different color. This is cappings wax, cappings only. What wax cappings are is when the bees make and store honey in a frame like this. Once the cells are filled, they will cap over that honey and seal it in. Once it's capped, it never goes bad. Honey never goes bad anyway, but the cappings uh, protect the honey, keep it from gaining moisture or losing moisture, and store it for the winter. So you can see the color of this wax. It's very light. This is all just honey frames. There's no brood that's raised in these, and that's why it's so lightly colored. I can show you this one is a frame that brood was raised in and immediately you can see the difference out here it was nothing but honey and across the top most of it and down the sides that's usually how they store honey on these brood frames inside the cells you can see some of their brood bee bread that's like essentially a mixture of pollen and and honey it's what you know they feed on but you can also see the nature of the cells. Because they put all that stuff in there and raise their young, the wax gets darker and dirtier. They repair it and rebuild it all the time, but uh, in that process, it becomes old and dirty. Eventually, this will become almost black and the bees will stop using it. But that's the reason why we have two different color waxes sitting in front of me. I separate the cappings wax during the honey extraction process and separate that for this reason. This wax is typically purchased at a higher value and it's generally used for cosmetics like lip balms and salves, those kinds of things. Um, it helps maintain a creamier consistency and also a creamier look to your product. Uh, you can see certain beeswax chapsticks are, are much more yellow and there's others that are much lighter the much lighter ones we're using this cappings wax so that sells at a higher premium um and again generally used for the cosmetics the other wax we'll use for all sorts of candles paper candles are very popular always um but these blocks are for sale for candle making essentially on their on their own uh so that's it Little showed a little difference between regular wax and cappings wax. Thanks for watching.